Chemistry lecture number 56, molecular formulas. A molecular formula gives the type and actual number of atoms in a molecule. An empirical formula gives the ratio of atoms in a compound. It is possible to find the molecular formula if the molecular mass and the empirical formula are known. To find the molecular formula from the empirical formula, first you need to find something I call the empirical formula mass. And that's the mass of uh, something based on its empirical formula. And then number two, we're going to divide the molecular mass, which we'll abbreviate as MM, uh, by the empirical formula mass. And you should get a whole number or something close to a whole number when you do this. And the third step, you multiply the subscripts in the empirical formula by the answer in step number two to get the molecular formula. So let's explain what all these words mean. So <coughs> one mole of a compound has a mass of 60 grams. Its empirical formula is CH4N. Find the molecular formula. So we're going to start by finding the empirical formula mass. So here's the empirical formula, and based on this formula, we're going to find the mass. So one carbon from the periodic chart, carbon is 12. Four hydrogens. Four hydrogens times the uh, molar mass of hydrogen gives 4.04. One nitrogen. One nitrogen on the periodic chart, nitrogen is 14 grams. So if we add up the mass, based on the empirical formula, we get 30.04, and we'll round it to three figures, 30. So this number is the empirical formula mass. We got it from the empirical formula. Now, the problem says that one mole of the uh, compound is actually 60 grams. This is the molecular mass. So what we'll do is we'll take this molecular mass, which we'll abbreviate it as MM, and divide it by the <coughs> excuse me, empirical formula mass. 60 divided by 30 gives 2, or 2.00. What this tells us is that the uh, molecular formula has twice as many atoms as the empirical formula. So, if we take this 2 and we multiply all the subscripts in the empirical formula by 2, we get C2, H8, N2. And this is our answer. So this is the molecular formula, C2, H8, N2. Let's try another problem. Percent composition of a compound is 92.3% carbon and 7.77% hydrogen. If the molecular mass is 78, what's the molecular formula? Now, what's the difference between this problem and the other one is that we need to determine the empirical formula first, then the empirical formula mass. So in the previous problem, they gave us the empirical formula. Well, we don't have the empirical formula, but we can find out what it is because we have the percent composition. So. Using the percent composition, let's first find the uh, empirical formula. So 92.3% or 92.3 grams of carbon. To convert grams of carbon into moles of carbon, we'll divide by 12. And then 7.77% or 7.77 grams of hydrogen. And then divide that by 1.01. .01. This is off the periodic chart. Gives us 7.69 moles of uh, hydrogen. Now the next step is that you look at the moles of compound that you have, and you divide by the smallest number. Well, they're both 7.69, so um, the smallest number is 7.69. So if we do that, divide both of these by 7.69, that gives us one mole of each. So the ratio of carbon to hydrogen in the compound is one to one. So the empirical formula then would be that. So. Continuing off of here, <coughs> since carbon and hydrogen are in a ratio of 1 to 1, the empirical formula is CH. Now what we do is with the empirical formula, we find the empirical formula mass. So from this empirical formula, we have 1 carbon, 1 times 12 is that. We have 1 hydrogen, we have that added up, 13 rounded to 3 figures is 13.0. Uh, so this 13.0 is the empirical formula mass. We got it from the empirical formula. Now, on the, <coughs> excuse me, on the problem, it tells you that uh, the molecular mass is 78. So we take the molecular mass, divide it by the empirical formula mass, and we get 6. So the molecular mass is 6 times the empirical formula. So that means that the molecular mass would have 6 times as many atoms as the empirical formula. So we take the 6 and we multiply all the subscripts in the empirical formula by 6. 
So it's C6H6, and that is the molecular formula. All right, let's try another one. One more. Find the molecular formula of a compound that's 40.9% carbon, 4.58% uh, hydrogen, and 54.5% oxygen, and has a molecular mass of 176. Well, once again, we don't have the empirical formula. We have to find the empirical formula, and then use that to find the empirical formula mass, and then use that to find the ratio of uh, molecular mass to empirical formula mass. All right, so let's take these, and we'll find the empirical formula, just like uh, chemistry lecture number uh, 55. All right, anyway, 40.9% carbon, or 40.9 grams of carbon divided by 12, gives me 3.41. That's how many moles of carbon we have. Then we have 4.58% hydrogen or 4.58 grams of hydrogen. Divide that by 1.01. That gives us 4.53 moles of hydrogen. And then 54% oxygen or 54.5 grams of oxygen. We'll divide that by 16 off the periodic chart and get 3.41. Now, these are the number of moles in our sample. What is the smallest number of moles? Well, it looks like 3.41 is the smallest number of moles of this, so we'll divide everything by 3.41. So, divide that by 3.41, divide that by 3.41, and we'll divide that by 3.41. This gives us 1, 1 1.33, and one. Now normally when we divide by the smallest number of moles, we should get a ratio of whole numbers. This is not a ratio of whole numbers. 1.33 is not close enough to a whole number. So since we didn't get whole numbers in all of these, we have to use the old if-then chart. So this is from the previous lecture. This was from lecture uh, number 56. So if it ends with 0.33, we should multiply everything by three, and then that'll give us whole number ratios, all right? So, We'll multiply everything by three. So this will give us three. This is gonna give us 3.99, which is so close to the whole number four, we're just gonna call it four, and this is three. Okay, so the ratio of carbon to hydrogen to oxygen is three to four to three. So our empirical formula is C3H4O3. So this is the empirical formula. All right, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna use this. We need to find the empirical formula mass. All right, so the empirical formula is C3H4O3. Three carbons, three times 12 is 36. Four hydrogens, four times uh, 1.01 is 4.04. .04. Three oxygens, three times 16 is 48, and these are all taken from the periodic chart. Add it all up, 88.04, or rounded to three figures, just 88.0. So this is the empirical formula mass that we got from the empirical formula. Then we take the molecular mass. The problem said that the molar mass is 176 uh, grams per mole. 176 divided by 88 gives us 2.00 or 2. So that means that the molecular formula has twice as many atoms as the empirical formula. So all the subscripts in the empirical formula, we have to multiply by two. So we show that here. The two is distributed. So this is gonna be C6H8O6. All of these were multiplied by two. So that is the molecular formula. That's our answer. So this is really just a combination of uh, two types of problems, finding the empirical formula and then using that to find the molecular formula. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture number 56, Molecular Formulas.